so there's all that stuff going on this year well thank you very much somebody just commented on on mard and the un work thank you very much i'm really glad that all of you all are a kind of uh, part of it supporting it in tune with it um and yeah that's something that we all are constantly constantly working at so thank you very much for for recognizing that why is it so noisy around me well mumbai is a noisy city you know it's a city that doesn't sleep um and there's always honking is is perfectly um, um is very common here and uh, yeah so you'll hear a lot of noise coming from from this little open space back there hi rohit uh when am i planning to make zmd2 um i have no plan to make it yet but um i hope zoya and reema will write something and make it because it would be amazing to be part of that experience again i want to see you in person where are you from kinjal can you perform a show in my in pushkar i would love to yeah uh, please organize one i'll be glad to come i want to go everywhere and, and perform for every single person um whoever i can you know so please organize in your cities wherever you are writing from if you know people who organize concerts organize shows we would love to come to every single part of the world come to every single city and uh, entertain engage and and exchange ideas and thoughts and music um and a lot of love with each and every one of you hmm. what about don 3 it's a very interesting question Thank you Alexis is very very kind of you to say that. Thank you. Oh, a heart. Uh Oh, so Mehak you were there at SRCC how nice. How nice. We had a great time doing it. You know one of the first concerts that we did that started during the daytime. So it was a uh, it was very interesting for us as well because otherwise you don't really get to see the faces of the crowd. You know the people who've come you only get to see the ones who are right by the ramp. because that's where the light hits them but that concert allowed us to see people standing really far away from stage as well and that felt really good to see to see all those people and those smiling faces even in the distance um yeah peter we've been to australia already we we performed in in sydney and in melbourne uh, this was last year um and i look forward to coming back we had a great time i hope we can come back at some point maybe even this year who knows Varun Jain is asking me why I shaved. Um I had to shave because of a, a shoot. We finished with the rock on to shoot that needed for me to have a beard and then I needed to shave because there were a couple of other commitments that I had and they couldn't shoot with the beard because they were locked into a different look. So I had to shave for that. Dil chahta hai tu please. Why not? Sure, gladly. uh yeah i would love to come you know um there was a possibility of us coming to to lahore to do a performance um and i look forward to it um we have a lot of uh fans in pakistan a lot of fans of my movies as well um and there's been many exchanges you know a lot of pakistani talent is now there uh in the mumbai film industry you know and um, so we get along really really well we work together very often there's some amazing musical talent that's here as well Um and I look forward to coming there and playing playing a concert. I hope it can happen again soon. So um yeah, we have my team working on it. There he is. He's the guy. <laughs> Who will make it happen? Thank you very much. I look forward to coming to San Jose too, Jyotika. I look forward to it. <laughs> Any plans for the northeast? Oh yeah, um well, I think towards the end of this year there are there's a, a little bit of a northeast uh, leg hopefully that will happen um we shot rock on to in shillong we were there for over a month it's uh, an amazingly beautiful place uh, i have performed in guwahati before but i have never performed in in any other state or in any other city apart from from guwahati so i really look forward to it and uh, i think this year is when we are going to do a couple of cities in the northeast they love their music there and they love rock music so i'm really looking forward to it please write a song on the indian cricket team abbas is asking acha do you have any suggestions for what 
the title of that song can be a bus. Gaurav is saying, hi guy, hi back. My next concert in Kolkata. Uh, well, I, I hope that the Kolkata concert will be a part of the Northeast leg. So maybe we start in Kolkata or end in Kolkata because it's all kind of, it's close by, we can travel from one city to the other while we're there. So yeah, I would imagine that it could happen at the same time. That's going towards the towards the third quarter of, of this year. We want more movies on friendship. Uh, Nazneen, the thing is that we do make a lot of films on, on friendship. I, I really am someone who uh, likes exploring that relationship in, in films. Um, but it has to feel right. I would, I would love to do it. You know, there, there is, um, like we said, people keep asking for a sequel to Dil Chata Hai or they ask for Zindagi Na Milegi Dobara part two. So hopefully one of those things could happen or then a new script where we make a film. But I, I do enjoy making films about friendship, I must admit. Yeah. Thank you very much, Honor. It's very kind of you. Uh, hi, Tamaz. Hi. Please do a Bengali movie. Um, well, I mean, I would love to do any any film. I'm not very good at speaking uh, Bengali, so that may be a little bit of a handicap. But um, you know, the thing is, I mean, as an actor, it's important, of course, to um, to kind of challenge yourself. So, if there is something interesting that comes along that makes you learn a new language, uh, I would I would happily do it. So I look forward to some writer, director, producer from the Bengali uh, film industry from Kolkata uh, can think of me to do a film for them. In Rajkot, yeah, yeah, I would love to come. Uh, the book that I'm reading right now, somebody just asked me, Adrija asked me which book am I reading. I'm reading. Um, uh, a bio, it's called something like a bio, something like an autobiography. It's uh, about the director Akira Kurosawa and his memories of his childhood uh, and of his life. So that's something that I'm reading right now. I do enjoy reading biographies, um, and especially of artistic people, creative people, not only from film but even even maybe uh, artists, painters, musicians, um, and even sports people to a certain extent. There's a certain creativity even in sport. I do enjoy that because I find it very motivating and I find it, it, it inspires me to try and do the work that I do. Hi everyone, hello, hello. May, many people are asking me to say hi and hello. It's very difficult to say that to everyone individually here because it's moving pretty fast. So whoever's asking me that, hi. Um, yeah. Rock on song. My favorite rock band. Uh, well, there's many um, influences that I have and many bands that I, I enjoy listening to. Um, Pink Floyd is, is, is a huge influence. The Beatles are a huge influence. I like listening to Pearl Jam. Um, I like uh, Coldplay. Um, and many, many different bands, but these are the ones that kind of came to mind just now. When will I come to Bhatinda for a concert? Bulao mujhe mein aajao gair. Koi mujhe bulara kiyo nahi Bhatinda? Mujhe Bhatinda aana hai. Please sing a song. I, I, can, I can tell you a shairi from Zen and MD. This is not maybe the perfect environment to be just break out into song suddenly. But um, I could share um, a shairi from, with, from Zen and MD with you. So um, maybe the, the one that everyone usually asks me to speak. कि दिलों में तुम अपनी बेताबियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम नजर में खाबों की बिजलियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम हवा के झोंकों के जैसे आजाद रहना सीखो तुम एक दरिया के जैसे लहरों में बहना सीखो हर एक लम्हे से तुम मिलो खोले अपनी बाहें हर एक पल एक नया समा देखें या निगाहें जो अपनी आंखों में हैरानियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम दिलों में तुम अपनी बेताबियां लेके चल रहे हो तो जिंदा हो तुम and now it's telling me my connection is weak. How interesting. Hopefully you can still hear me, see me, even if it's kind of buffering a bit. Hmm. Is someone cooking in the background? No, does it sound like somebody's cooking in the background? 
<laughs> no, nobody's cooking in the background. There's a window back there. And um, sometimes cars and bikes pass and maybe they're sounding like some kind of kitchen utensils. I'm not sure what it's sounding like. <laughs> list of, list out five books. Um, wow. Yes, I do write poetry. I do write poetry and there's a lot of poetry that now I've converted into song. So um, apart from the film music that we do very often, I'm working on doing a lot of my independent music now. So this year, um, I, I will in most likelihood put out at least four songs which will be uh, independent songs that are not uh, related to film. Yeah, you know, I'm very confused. Many people say that I should keep the beard and then when I keep the beard, many people say, I beard ko laga raho, say, please nikal do. So I'm very confused as to what it is people really want. So I'll just have to listen to my own inner voice, I think and uh, stick with this clean shave and look for now. But if you ask me personally, um, I did like having the beard and when life permits, when I don't have these continuity issues of having to shave, um, I think I probably will keep a beard. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, we just performed Abhinav in Lucknow. We were there for the Lucknow Mahautsav. I wish you had come. Yeah, see, there are many girls over here telling me I look very hot in a beard. So I'm thinking that my instinct of keeping a beard is probably right. I think men are telling me also to keep a beard. Well done, I'll keep it. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> what am I up to these days? I'm up to, um, I'm reading a lot of scripts, I'm meeting a lot of different directors, uh, writers. Um, and just kind of charting out now what I want to do for the rest of the year. So that's really something that's that's going on right now. And uh, I was doing a lot of concerts till till last month. Um, and now looking forward to this wonderful US tour that we're doing in May, which starts on the 21st of May. And then from there we go to six different cities. So I really, really look forward to it. Oh, is it the 20th of May? Sorry, it's the 20th of May. You're the high guy, okay? Atrangi yari, apni to yari atrangi hai. Have I ever learned music? Shailesh, uh, a lot, I used to learn music when I was a kid. Um, I had a music teacher that came home for close to three years. Uh, but then somehow the discipline of, of it as a kid was unfortunately something that I, I didn't uh, stick with. I wish I had. I really wish I had. I think music is, is one thing that would, is, it's a great gift that uh, your parents can give you or, or then you can give yourself. Uh, I really wish I had done it a lot more seriously when I was a kid, but I, I am self-taught in terms of playing the guitar. That's something I've taught myself and then picked up a lot from various friends, including uh, Saroj who plays with us in the band. He's an, he's an amazing guitar player and he's also like, really, really taught me a lot of, lot many things. Um, yes, it's right. Excel is planning on doing a couple of web series. Um, I'm not planning on directing any, but um, at, at this moment, I'm really just focusing on uh, the next lineup of films that I want to do um, as an actor at the moment and hopefully direct a feature. So that's uh, really what I'm focused on. Can I name you Shukla? Yes, of course I can name you. Uh, yeah, there's many people asking whether I want to work with this actor or with that actor. Um, I, I, I'm very happy and very comfortable working with uh, with almost every single person that I know of uh, who's in the film industry. Um, I have absolutely no issues of working with anyone if I feel that they suit the character and they suit the script. So for all of you all asking, like, you know, would I work with Amir, will I work with Shah Rukh, will I work with somebody else? Uh, I'm very happy to work with, with most people who I feel um, inspired to work with, given the script, that's it. Hmm. Uh, yes, we are coming to Chicago. We will be in Chicago on the 27th of May, uh, for someone who just asked, sorry, I missed the name. Uh, yeah, Rakshit. Uh, we'll be coming on the 27th of Chicago. We are performing at the ODM Expo Center. So please, you, your friends, your family, I hope to see all of you there. And of course, there's going to be Papon as well. 
you know, who's playing along with us, who's an amazing talent. So I'm really glad to be uh, sharing stage with him. Any plans to the UK? I, I think there are some plans being drawn up for the UK um, in the first weekend of June, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So after we end uh, the US leg um, of these six cities that we're doing, I think we go to the UK and we, we do a couple of concerts in UK. But maybe we'll do another chat uh, before that once we know for sure what those venues, uh, what those venues are and what those dates are. Um, Mohammad Ashraful is asking me if I'm in Bangladesh. I'm in Bangladesh. I was in the 34th concert in Dhaka. So, unfortunately, I'm not going to miss you. When will you give competition to Ritik for dance? Um, I. Yeah, I'm going to share with you. Ritik is an amazing dancer. You know, I do enjoy dancing also tremendously. I must say I have a lot of fun dancing. But uh, I don't know if dance competition with Ritik is uh, a very good idea. Um, it's a lot of fun working with him. It's a lot of fun even dancing with him. We dance together in Senorita and in Painted Red in Zindagi Na Milegi Dovara. But I don't think I've never thought about competition. How do you make it to workouts when you travel? Yeah, I'm very, very... Uh, I don't know, just very disciplined and diligent about working out. Um, not only for the fact of that you look a certain way, I'm, I also find that it really, um, it's very healthy for your mind, it keeps you active, it keeps you positive, it keeps you optimistic. So for that reason, you know, more than really just the, the body factor of things uh, is why I, I really, really feel that it's important to work out and I always make time for it. So even if I have to wake up early to be able to do it or sleep a little bit later if I can only train at night, um, that is something I do do, yeah. Uh, Shrey, you, uh, uh, I think you're inviting me to your school in Gurgaon. I just saw something go past. Uh, absolutely, please. I mean, there's our Facebook page, Farhan Live. Please go there. You can write down the details of it. And if it's possible, um, we definitely will come. Thank you, Ifan. All of us are is just uh, discovering what that gift is that we've been given. Uh, beard rocks. Okay. <laughs> oh, I see that I've, I've divided the audiences between beard and clean shaven. I'm finding that very, very interesting. We love Vijay Shah Singh. We love Javed Akhtar's poetry and yours. Thank you very much. I shall convey your message to him, Vijay. Is swimming included in my workout? Um, I do enjoy swimming. I don't do it as often as I used to. There was a time when I was about 16, 17, 18. Um, I used to go to the pool every single day and swim close to about 50 lengths every single day. Um, but then I kind of moved on from that. So I don't, I don't do it as much now, but I do enjoy being in the pool or then in the ocean. The ocean is even more fun than being in the pool actually. Pavni is asking, when am I coming to Amsterdam? Please call me to Amsterdam. I want to come. Tomorrow. Hairstyle cool. Thanks, Sanyu. Come to Glasgow. I was in Glasgow last year. Dil uh, Bar Bar Dekho was shooting there. Um, and I had I'd come there. I actually drove from London to Glasgow. It was a fun drive with four of my friends. Um, and uh, it was a wonderful time. We stayed in Glasgow for a couple of days. It was a beautiful place. Uh, it was a bit grey. Uh, and rainy, but the nice change of weather from when you're coming from this heat. So I enjoyed it tremendously. Mm. Achha, you went for Kefi or May? How nice, how nice. Well, I, I will tell them that uh, you watched the play and that you enjoyed it very, very much. How nice. Uh, no, uh, Yuvraj, luck should not inspire from my own uh, family, I'm assuming is what you've asked. Uh, no, it's not inspired from my own family, but uh, the dilemma of the character Karan Shirgil was something that I could relate to, of somebody who's very confused about what he wants to do and be in life. I've been through that phase for a good year, year and a half of my life, 
where I, I just ended up doing things because my friends were doing them, you know, um, till I really found it within myself that making movies, writing, uh, this kind of creative art, you know, is, is my calling. I think I'm not reading. Somebody just said, I think I'm not reading these messages. Now this is proof that I'm reading the messages that I read. I think I'm not reading these messages. Somebody sending angry faces also. How interesting. Sir, please do your show in Mumbai again. Yeah, I would love to. If I could do a show in Mumbai every weekend, I would do a show in Mumbai. <laughs> Mayank, which mattress do I use? It's a very interesting question. I'm going to go and check today which mattress I use. I'm not very sure. <laughs> ah. uh, Vishal is asking me if there's anything on JNU or the Bharat Mata Ki Jai issue. I think right now is a nice time for us to interact and have some fun. Let's try and keep all these political things out of the equation. There'll be a, another time for that when it's a slightly more serious platform. Which one do you prefer more? Acting, direction or musician? Um, I, I enjoy all three. I mean, they're all, they're all extensions of some kind of creative output. Um, so I do, I do enjoy all three. I do. I, I, it's very difficult to choose. Uh, yeah, you know, I mean, uh, somebody just asked me about uh, the death of that police officer. I think it's, it's I mean, of course, exceedingly unfortunate. My deepest condolences to, to his family. And uh, I mean, it's a shame, you know, when something like that happens. It's, um, it's something that no matter what you say, um, it's just something that always, always shakes you up. And it always makes you feel very, very sad that, I mean, things like this still occur. Just visited Goa, awesome Dilchatai feeling. Oh, how nice, Rohan. Thank you very much. Somebody just uh, recently on Twitter sent me a picture of a Dil Chata Hai cafe um, at Chapura Fort. So that was very interesting to see and there was some Dil Chata Hai lemonade that you could have. I'm very intrigued to know what the Dil Chata Hai lemonade tastes like. Bob Marley song. Oh yeah, I like Bob Marley and I like his music very, very much. Uh, yes, I am singing in Rock On 2. Who, somebody just asked me that. Uh, yeah, I am singing. There is uh, um, four songs that I sing in Rock On 2 and there is uh, another four songs in the film. Four songs? One, no, three songs that are sung by, by Shraddha in the film and then there is there's two other bands also featured. So yeah, there is a lot of music. There is about eight or nine songs uh, in the film and Shankar and San Loy have just done an amazing job as they always do. I cannot wait to share the music of, of Rock On 2 with all of you all. Hmm. Uh, um, Dalia, I hope I'm pronouncing your name right, is asking when I'll vi visit Egypt. Um, I would love to. I've never been uh, to Egypt. And um, I am a huge uh, history buff, um, and I think everything that there is there is to know about uh, Egypt, the Egyptian civilization, about architecture from Egypt, about the culture from that time, I'm familiar with all of it because I just I love history. Um, but I've never got a chance to travel to Egypt, so I I hope I can someday soon because it really is. I mean, it's called the cradle of civilization for a reason. story behind my stitches. You're talking about these stitches, I would assume. Uh, when I was two years old, I slipped um, and fell onto the corner of a table and uh, the, t the edge of the table hit me right here. So that's the story of these stitches. And uh, yeah, and my mom was sitting right there. She's recounted the story on many occasions where she thought because there was so much blood that came out of it. You know, uh, my face was also much smaller. No? I was two years old, so <laughs> there was a lot of blood, and she thought I'd lost my eye, but uh, fortunately, that that didn't happen. Um, when are you visiting Moscow? Wow. Um, 
I would love to. Yeah, I love. I love traveling. You know, many people are asking me when I'll visit different cities or different countries. Um, I would. I would love to visit every place. I mean, that I've not been to for sure, and even places that I've been to and enjoyed being to. Um, I. I love traveling. I. I wish I could get more time to travel. You know, uh, films fortunately to to a certain extent allow us to travel to different places because they more often than not are not only set in Mumbai, so we get to travel a bit with them. But um, there was a time I I did travel a lot. I would take a couple of months off in a year to go see a new place, uh, to travel through a new country. Um, that unfortunately time doesn't permit anymore. But um, there are many years ahead, um, hopefully, and uh, I'll get to travel to to many places that I that I want to. Well, so uh, also before we move on, I'd like to just quickly give um, a kind of a shout out to uh, to all the cities that we're coming to uh, in the U.S. So just so that you know, and you've heard it straight from me. So uh, these are the cities, and uh, I look forward to coming to all these places. On the 20th of May, we are going to be in Dallas. So that's something we look forward to. We are at the Curtis Culwell Center, um, is what it's called. So everyone who's here uh, from Dallas, I look forward to seeing all of you uh, on the 20th of May. On the 21st, we go to San Jose uh, and we perform at the fairgrounds. So uh, see all of you, all of you there. Look forward to it. Uh, we travel from there the next day on the 22nd of May. Hello, Houston. We're coming your way. So uh, we'll be there and we perform at the NRG Arena on uh, the 22nd of May. Then we get four or five days off to ourselves where we can maybe travel around a bit and see some different parts of your beautiful country. Um, after which we will go to Chicago on the 27th, like I said, uh, and we'll be at the Odium Expo Center. So look forward to that. And then 28th of May, we're in New Jersey uh, at the NJ Pack. So that should be a lot of fun for everyone who comes in there as well. And then we finally uh, finish uh, our tour in Washington, D.C. Um, at the Eagle Bank Arena. So to everyone who's watching, from these cities and everyone who lives around these cities or is going to travel to these cities, please do while we're there. We look forward to seeing all of you and uh, it really is going to be a lot of fun. I'm very, very excited to come there um, and interact with, with everyone who's going to come. Um, I look forward to it. So I hope that as many of you watching this and your friends and everyone that you know, I hope all of you can make it. One song, buddy. One song. Tum ho to gata hai bil. One song, one poem, one cold play song. Wow. Okay. <laughs> I feel like I feel like a DJ who's gonna start doing requests now. Uh why don't you write something? Gaurav is asking me about you to inspire those who don't know what to do. Um you know, um I mean it is possible, Gaurav, going forward that I mean you may I may want to share experiences and things that I've learned in my life uh, with people um, and with 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 readers you know and with with people who watch my work um, at this point I feel um, also the work that you do the way you are the way you conduct yourself um, is is um, one kind of way of reaching out to people you know and if at all they need to learn something they can learn from just watching your work um, that's what we've also done you know there's many people like I said you know you watch movies you listen to music and you get inspired from from the work that you see and you hear um, and that motivates you to stay true to your dreams you know to stay true to what it is uh, you believe in uh, when you see and you hear from other people what what they've been doing so um, there's a lot of inspiration that as well but I mean you never know I mean this is something that could always happen you know um, to put down in word um, just experiences and, and feelings that I have regarding life, regarding my work, and regarding past, present, and future. Ah. Greetings from Germany. Greetings back to everyone in Germany. We shot Dawn 2 in Germany, <coughs> in Berlin, and uh, had a wonderful time. I also traveled quite a bit through through Berlin in 2000, uh, in through uh, Germany in 2007, and I, I enjoyed it tremendously. Actually, I was in Germany also in 2006 for the the World Cup. Yeah, um, I'd come for the World Cup, and um, I'd watched Brazil versus France, uh, where Brazil was the team that lost and had to leave the World Cup. 
Uh, I did watch that while I was there. Um, and <clears throat> a couple of other matches in the wonderful fan zones that were set up in various places. Um, what would be my superhero name? Wow, interesting. I'll, I'll think about this and let you know by the end of it. I think more than my superhero name, what would be my superpower, I think, is, is a more interesting question. I think I'd keep my, my superhero name could be far out. You know, that, that could work as a superhero name. But what the power would be, I think, is, is a little bit uh, worth thinking about. Um, do you have any interest in investing in Africa through movie production? Amar is asking. I, I don't know what you mean by that. Um, I would love to come and shoot in Africa for sure. So if you mean that just coming and, and uh, working there with production there, I mean, absolutely, absolutely. Um, also many questions are coming in as to why I don't come to this place so I don't come to another place. Um, the fact is, um, I mean, there has to be reason unless it's just a holiday. So it's not not happened yet. But like I said, I, I do enjoy going to various places. So hopefully um, I could be there one day or the other in years to come, you know, either on work or on holiday or on a, on a tour. You know, I look forward to it. Hmm. Hi, hi, hi everyone. Many people saying say hi to me, saying hi to everyone. So cool, we're gonna end now. Uh, maybe we can end with, uh, we'll end with a song because many people have asked for a song. So we could do a song um, and then call it a night. So, but before I do the song, just thank you everyone for joining in on this, on this chat, joining in on this uh, Facebook Live thing that we're doing. It really has been fun. This is the first time I'm doing it. So it's something new for me as well. And I have enjoyed it tremendously. Um, so we'll do a song and I feel, yeah, maybe we can do, uh, I can look at, uh, maybe do Socha Hai, because since somebody's just kind of asked for it. So, uh, here we go. Asma hai neela kyu paani gila gila kyu gol kyo hai zami Silk mein hai narmi kyu aag mein hai garmi kyu dao har do paanch kyo nahi पेड़ हो गए कम क्यों तीन है ये मौसम क्यों चांद दो क्यों नहीं दुनिया में है जंग क्यों बहता लाल रंग क्यों सर है दे है क्यों हर कहीं सोचा है दैट यू ऑल शुड सिंग ये तुमने क्या कभी सोचा है के है ये क्या सभी सोचा है सोचा नहीं तो सोचो अभी नहीं Good night.